a person elects to use a fluoride-free toothpaste, he needs to realize it will not protect against the harms of sugar. You can be meticulous in your oral hygiene, you can floss your teeth, you can brush, you know, for 25 minutes a day. The current evidence suggests that if you don't use that fluoride toothpaste, you will not have a benefit. But the important message is there is you need that fluoride toothpaste. If you don't have the fluoride toothpaste, the evidence that you can prevent caries with a fluoride-free toothpaste is suggesting that there is no benefit, which is really important, therefore, to tell people. More likely to occur on the fissures, which, you know, typically are on the tops of the teeth. They can be on the outside of the If a person brushes his teeth without fluoride, flosses his teeth, the evidence from randomized controlled trials that that will prevent dental caries is very small. You know, in other words, either it will provide a small benefit, no effect, or actually it may increase your risk for cavities a little bit. If you don't have sound teeth, if you're an adult and you're susceptible to decay, so the message is clear, the first thing you do is don't eat diet, dairy, carbohydrates, really restrict it, especially sugars, try not to snack on sugars. The second message is try to use fluoride products. There is no question about it, fluoride is effective. So you may buy fluoride rinses, you may buy a fluoride toothpaste. Fluoride toothpaste are very cost effective and it's pleasurable to brush your teeth with fluoride products. I think dentists are very aware that it's fluoride that prevents dental caries. That's why dentists have fluoride varnish, they have fluoride gels, they prescribe high-dose fluoride products like high-dose fluoride toothpaste if a person is particularly susceptible to dental caries. The uh, interesting thing is that violates all the principles we've learned when we've gone to school. So it's an uh, anomaly how the study came to the conclusion, but it's based on good data. It's a good study. Uh, more affordable electronic toothbrushes, and it moves uh, back and forth and up and down. I'd recommend that people brush and floss and use fluoride toothpaste. It's demonstrated, the combination is demonstrated to reduce cavities. But I think anybody that uses floss knows that you get junk out from between your teeth. Whether that's proven to be preventive, there's no harm in flossing, and I think all of us know it has a benefit. Benefit being you don't have bad breath. Bad breath and schmutz between your teeth and uh, gingivitis. Here also. So I don't know what you want to see or... Well, fluoride is still controversial, but that doesn't mean it doesn't work. Some people have opinions about everything. That doesn't mean they're right.